My name is Guy Pavello. I'm the show and technical director for Drake's Big as the What Tour. This is an arena tour. Basically, we started as a, a stadium option and we shifted and converted it into a oversized arena run. Claire Global was able to come in with all the kit, already prepped, already talking to each other, everything ready to go. Claire offered the full system and gave us everything we needed right out of the door, nothing missing. So that's the best you can ask for. My favorite part of the day is right when we start the show. There's no drug better than hitting that button that makes the house lights go out and makes 20,000 people start screaming. There's, there's nothing like that adrenaline rush. Shows like that, anything that has those pop elements with a lot of moving parts, you just want comms, you want headsets, you want to be able to communicate with, with other people. So that way you're not kind of running around with just your radio. Communication is extremely important and key. And compared to some lightweight systems we've used in the past, moving up to the Riedel for Drake has proven to be a night and day type experience. I'm almost positive that you wouldn't even be able to have the show functioning the way it does now without the wireless Riedel comp system. You wouldn't be able to do it. This system holds 10 belt packs per antenna, where other ones are only holding for like four to six in, per, per antenna. So me only having to deal with 10 antennas per zone helps me out so much more because it's more of an even number and it's easier for me to like go, oh, I need to add one more right here. My relationship and my comfortability with the artist is the reason why I need the wireless belt pack and that, that if he needs something or my show caller needs something or my production manager needs something, I need to be able to get to anywhere at any time and still maintain communication with all my crew chiefs or anyone that's a part of the show that's on headset. Everyone can hear each other, everyone can hear their cues, everyone can talk to each other. 40 people can be on the same conference, hit the button at the same time, and they all talk to each other. <laughs> I've got 12 men and women who need to hear everything I'm saying, uh, so if something's happening in the distance, I, it's so easy to just quickly crank it out, turn down, focus on the thing I need to hear, come back and bring it back up. I can push one button and reach all the people that I need to be as compared to just having to scroll through my radio and hopefully try to find the vendor that I want to find. And then if I need to isolate myself, I only want to talk to my show producer, I can do that. I can't always do that on this radio, right? Without having other people hear me. Moving to the wireless Bolero and the artist stations has opened up the flexibility to take the comm with me. We un unplug from this, don't even take the headset off. We plug straight in the Bolero, walk away wherever we got to go. And then when I come back, unplug from one, plug into the other, and none's the wiser, which is fabulous. <laughs> There's no annoying pop when you plug it in either. The best benefactor of going in director mode is the uh, pre-programming, that you can pre-program your show before you even get there. So I can just sit there and program my hotel room, put all my IP addresses in, hit the multicast button, let it populate all the way down, and then I can start doing my conferences and start putting the names in all the belt packs. And once I get the belt packs and all, everything all put together, all I have to do is just register and go. The first couple of days of rehearsal with the PA turned on, within a day or two of, you know, loose rehearsal time, there have been no complaints. I'd say the most uh, important feature of the, the Riedel for me is its ability to sort of filter out background noise. I don't really know what's happening or how it works, but it does seem like magic. The clarity aspect of it is what makes it great because I don't have to struggle to speak to people. And on other tours, if it's just this, Sometimes you can find yourself screaming in a microphone and it's still not gonna get the message across. The audio quality of the system is phenomenal. Like, I've heard different belt packs, I've heard different um, panels, and this one like, on AS67 with the artist or even the 1024 mainframe system, it's pretty clear. It's a big, loud show. There's 16,000 people at minimum in here every night, and I've never had a problem hearing anything whatsoever. The pack detects that I've plugged a different headset in and says, oh, switching from a dynamic mic to an electric mic. There's no fiddling with it. I can pull this off. I have a spare headset. If that thing, it's a little dainty, if it had ever broke, I could pop a new one in and I trust that it would just work right away. The system can handle whatever headset I put in there. And now with the new update, you're able to put the profiles in and for the EQs and stuff for different headsets. My favorite feature in a Max D2 headset is the boom. It's like I'm able to move it around, flexibility. It gives me a memorized ability from other products. But on this one, it makes me like, I'm able to like just push it where I need to push it. It doesn't really move. I'm able to lock it in place and then I'd never have any issues with it. If people can't hear the call that's being made, that's not safe no matter what the situation may be. Whether it is a pyro, 
option, whether it is an automation or you know, a security concern. If we need to stop something, or let's say our artist Drake is in a position that we feel comfortable shooting pyro over his head, we can make sure that that doesn't happen in a split second. You know, we even have part of the system tied into our radios. So we hear the security channel and the all call and we can have contact back and forth. Without a doubt, the this, this show is 100 times safer. Just the speed of recovery as well. Like difference to others where you're spending time hunting for the problem. The fact the computer could talk and see what's online, what's not online, points you right to where the issue could be and probably is. Time's money. And when you save a lot more and you don't stop the show or you don't, heaven forbid, hurt somebody because you lost communication with the show, it's worth every cent. I would recommend the Artist Intercom Systems, the uh, Bolero Standalone Systems, the 1024 Mainframe Systems, training my clients for ease of setups and breakdown and the longevity and audio clarity of the uh, systems. If I ended up production managing a tour or going out on my own, I would absolutely make sure I take a system with me. I would absolutely recommend this system. It's just intuitive and it, it's really nice and, it, and I, I trust it a lot more than I trust other systems. That, I'll say that for sure.